video is in partnership with the Rwanda Development Board, I was invited together with other African creators. In this vlog, we are visiting Yusambi village, which is about 40 minutes drive from Kigali. Hi guys, we are back again, Chale, as part of my videos here in Kigali, Rwanda. I'm currently here at Yusambi village. Here, we are going to be seeing a lot of bird species, specifically the crane bird. And I've heard a lot of stories about this crane bird. People used to keep them hostage at their homes. They used to cut the feathers of the bird. The birds are kept here um, for people like us to have a look at them. So let's go, let's see what they have in here. I hope you're enjoying my video here in Kigali, Rwanda. Let's go guys. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Morning. Good. You're welcome to Musambi Village. Yeah, I'm going to give you like a brief introduction about Musambi Village, why Musambi Village exists, and then afterwards the Christian will take you around. So Musambi Village is a nature reserve and a sanctuary for the Greek and cranes that were skewed from captivity. People you have these birds that you see here, the cranes, in their homes and hotels. And when they had them somewhere like chopping off the wings to stop them from frying, uh, which is not good. And it's illegal to have cranes in homes or in captive. Uh, to start this, we started in 2014 as a project and it became a local organization called Rwanda Wildlife Conservation Association. If you can see, it is written here on my shirt. And uh, this organization is the one that established Musambi Village after seeing that we had disabled cranes, which were from people's homes. As I said, people were chopping off the wings and we wanted a safe place where we can pull them to rebreed and multiply. The reason why we worked on cranes is because they are endangered, like they are very few in the country, and we wanted to see how we can increase the population of cranes in Rwanda. And after that, uh, after doing, uh, like, uh, we did census before we do anything else. In the whole country, we had like 500 plus. But these days we have, uh, actually last week we did census and we have 166 cranes in the country. This tree is called, um, in English, the fire frame. Fire frame. Fire frame. This one. The reason is when when it's in the dry season, it sheds off all the leaves, and then it remains with the um, the, the red flowers. Oh we, yes. We will probably see see some. Uh, uh, around uh, the world, the tree is endangered, but in Rwanda, basically, and it, it comes up with the power of a story. So in Rwanda, like a uh, long time ago, there was a king. And they had gone to to hunt with uh, with, with with some uh, I don't know if they're called soldiers, and a buffalo charged at them, and it hit the king, and the king fell on the tree and he climbed. So when 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 the buffalo saw the the, the red plants, yeah, it thought maybe it was fire and it went back. Mm -hmm. So from from that moment, the king said it's a protector. So the, uh, in Kiaranda we call it umodinzi or umuko, mm -hmm. you know. And because of that, like, many people in Rwanda plant the tree as a protector for maybe uh, to chase away bad things yeah? mm -hmm. and and so in Rwanda it's a success story that the, the tree is still you can still see many of the trees here in Rwanda but when you go to Madagascar if you if you you you, you google like fire firm tree you're going to take in Madagascar it's really an endangered tree species and can you tell the difference between the male and the female oh. and flight feathers oh, okay you know and in, in in that some birds were hot they could not fry anymore you know maybe like you 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 um you harm the the whole wing mm -hmm. so when we when we started the the like this process of rescuing them from their from the homes where they were kept as captives to you know like uh, rehabilitate them and then for them to be able to fly the birds that were not able to fly, they would face a, a great danger when you take them to the national park mm -hmm. uh, because of the plays, mm -hmm. you know? So we decided uh, to have a village for them. So that's why we call it Umusambi village. Okay. Like it's a village for the cranes. Okay. Yes. So do, do people still have some of the cranes at their 
and various homes. No, now there's a policy that all the wild birds and all the wild animals should go back to the to the national park. Yeah. So and it's, it's been it will be very as illegal. Well. Yes. As now. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Wow, we are learning a lot. Are we learning? Yeah. I'm learning. <laughs> but I can't get a crane, but a crane means I'm rich. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So guys, we've seen some of the cranes, but then they were quite far from us. Ooh. So we are getting closer to them for you all to see. It's my first time seeing a crane and yeah, so yeah, let's go guys. <laughs> When the birds wake up in the morning, the first thing they, they want to do is um, uh, be territorial. Like this is my land, you can't come here. So, <laughs> so they, they make sing. so they make a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. First we are, we are, we are, it's, we are sing, it's we hear as if it's singing, but it's trying to tell the other person this is my thing. So. The amazing thing about this place is they are birds chirping everywhere and it's fresh, it's serene, it's beautiful and guess what, the sun is out now. Listen closely. Do you guys hear them? <laughs> it's beautiful. Christian, yeah. <laughs> how long has this, um, this place been in existence? So it was opened in uh, 2020. Okay. In the COVID-19 times. Oh, it's but a young place. It is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is the very first time actually we're having many uh, visitors. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, um, would there be any development here aside from this um, bird species here? Yeah. We we'll probably, as as time goes, we can introduce even other uh, other species. species, including like for example grazers. Uh, it's a long-term plan. Okay. Also, uh, this is like a model of what can be done from a marsh. Um, maybe we can replicate this to other parts of the country. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I want to show you an example. Uh, one of the importance of a marsh. Um, and it also has a story. It's a tree that uh, we use in Rwanda to make drums for the king. Mm. You know, we, we call it Umuvugangoma in Kenya Rwanda. I don't know in the, if I translate it in another language. <laughs> yeah, but when it grows, it is hollow inside, mm -hmm. and when you put like a hide, a very dry hide around it, and you you drum, it makes the loudest, most nice. beautiful noise. Yeah. Hi Josephine. Hi. Hi. We are Hi. good. Are you enjoying the place? Yes. So she is from Rwanda. Yes, guys. Yes. yes. And she's a tour guide. Yes. This is my home. This is my industry. I'm feeling like home, sweet home. <laughs> yeah. currently entering into the butterfly house if you love butterflies like I do you will probably love it here so can we go inside with our bags uh, how are you I'm fine thank you so how many butterflies are we going to see I have more than 70 and four species oh, yeah, 70 and four species. oh look at him yeah, oh. welcome in the butterfly house thank you so this place is full of butterflies Look at this.
What plants are these? So these are native, uh, native uh, uh, trees. Hmm. We get the seeds from one of the rainforests in Rwanda called the Nyungo. This brings us to the end of my time here at this village. I had a lot of fun. Um, the place is beautiful, it's green, it's nice, it's refreshing. Hearing the birds chipping is, is good. I mean, this is a place, it's a popular place for you to visit whenever you find yourself in Rwanda, whenever you find yourself here in Kigali. So until next time on my next video, until next time on my next video here from Kigali, Rwanda. Bye, I love you all. There is also a restaurant here, you can come, have some food. So you need to call them in advance so they could get your food available for you. So yeah, this is it's very beautiful. 